Case of a new tick disease in the Northeast has been found in Connecticut. News 8's Tina Detel went to the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station to learn more about this disease and why it's here. Migratory birds play important role in moving this tick and other ticks around. Dr. Gudars Malai says these Gulf Coast ticks have come to Connecticut and late last year, the first human, a woman in northern Fairfield County, was infected with the disease they carry, Rickettsia parkeri rickettsiosis. We drove to the area and and we talk to the patients. These pictures show the bite wound on the back of the neck and spots found on the patient's leg. Dr. Molai says the symptoms are similar to Rocky Mountain spotted fever, which presents with generalized spots all over the body. But the Gulf Coast disease is more mild. The Rocky Mountain spotted fever is a deadly disease. The tick also looks similar to the American dog tick, which carries Rocky Mountain spotted fever. But the Gulf Coast tick has more markings on its back. As you can tell from the size of this tick, it is larger than a deer tick, more the size of the American dog tick. So it has caused some confusion. But researchers say that you really need to know what tick you're dealing with so you know how to treat the patient correctly. Dr. Molai says there are 15 tick species now in Connecticut. Ten are invasive and five are of concern. And with warmer winters, they can pose a threat year round. Do not hesitate to send your ticks over here. The least we could do is to identify these species. Patients who contract Rickettsia parkeri rickettsiosis get a fever, rash, fatigue and joint pain, but some are more uncomfortable. Gastrointestinal uh, symptoms and also cramping. He says this disease also leaves more of a scar or scab at the bite site, which lasts a long time, although that was not seen on this patient. In New Haven, Tina Detel, News 8.